seven day money miracle pledge. So in other words, I am challenging, challenging you to run this seven money miracle, seven day money miracle pledge. Okay. This is how it works. I'm going to call money into existence on your behalf. Okay. Like Jesus did. He told Peter to go catch a fish. There was, a, there was money there, right? So Jesus called into existence money. Now, how many of you here need money to pay off credit card? How many of you here need money to pay your rent? How many of you here need money to buy food, okay? Mon now listen, please, let me say something else. Don't ever love money. Money is not supposed to be loved. I want you to renounce the love of money right now. Say in the name of, repeat after me, say in the name of Jesus. The reason I'm asking you to do because I want you to be blessed. If you don't do it, you're not going to be blessed here. Repeat after me, say in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce the love of money. I don't love money. I do not idolize money. I do not chase money. Money follows me. Because I follow God, I follow Jesus, and money follows me in Jesus' name. Say amen. If you pray this prayer, this is a very powerful prayer in itself. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call money into existence for you. Now, that money can be real money. It can be money from the government. It can be a job that you're going to get that's going to translate into money. It can be unexpected, unexpected money coming to your hands, going to your banking account or coming through the mail. It can be anything. Now, for business people, for contractors, it can be a contract, unexpected contract, right? You're a business person. We are praying here and calling money into existence. Do you have your own business? Would you like to get one to have a business? right? Would you like to sell more than what you normally do? Okay. Listen, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call money into existence on your behalf. And I'm going to challenge you to make a pledge. And this is how it's going to work. I'm going to call money. I'm going to call miracle, money miracle, unexpected money. Okay. Once you get this unexpected money as a result of this prayer, that can come tomorrow, that can come the next day, that can come next week, that can come over the weekend. Listen, once you receive that unexpected amount, okay, you're going to make a pledge. When you receive that un unexpected money, you're going to give us 10%, which you're going to be giving to God anyways, but you're going to sow right into this ministry. If you, if you know you cannot keep your word, you cannot keep this pledge, then don't do it. But if you can keep this pledge to sow 10% of what you're going to get, as ex unexpected money, not your regular paycheck. That's not what I'm talking about. Anything that is extra that you're going to get that is unexpected. Money, contract, a job, a good job. If you get a good job, when you get your first paycheck, 10% of that paycheck is going to come to God through this ministry. Do you agree with that? Yes. If not, they say, say, then say no and don't do it. If you said no, don't do it. Because if you do it and you break that pledge, then you might open a door for demons to come in and rob you. But if you say yes to the pledge, okay, this prayer that is coming now is going to be for you. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I now exercise authority over every demonic spirit, principalities and powers that have been robbing these people, that have been stealing from them, 
and keeping them in bondage, in debt, and unemployed, always lacking. If we spirits, you're going to have to take your nasty dirty hands off those people who pledged to give 10% of what they're going to receive now as a result of this ministration. And Demas, I command you right now to take your nasty dirty hands off this, this people that said that, that they agreed with the pledge. Take your nasty dirty hands off of them right now. Off those who pledged to give 10% to God through this ministry of those unexpected money coming to their hands and you devils will not hinder that money from getting to their hands you will not block any money from getting to their hands in the name of the lord jesus christ by the power of his shed blood on the cross i now call money into existence into the life of those people do, who pledged to give 10% back to God of what they are going to receive in the near future. That can be tomorrow, that can be this weekend, that can be next week, that can be next month. But they are going to keep their words and therefore the money is already coming their way in the name of Jesus Christ. I now declare open doors of of employment also i declare right now big contracts contracts for business people extra sales in jesus mighty name extra money that they're gonna receive in jesus mighty name i call those money into existence in the name of jesus christ i call them now money listen to me Come now to the people that pledge it to give 10% to the Lord through this ministry. Money, obey my command. Money, obey my command. I have authority over you. I have authority over money in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and come now. Come now. Come now without any delay. Come, come financial blessings, come, good job, promotion in the job, extra money, extra bonus, extra sales, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, thank you, Father, for blessing your people with extra money, so they can honor you with 10% of what they're going to receive extra. And thank you, Father, for having them sow that money here in this ministry, not elsewhere. But here we are the ones running the campaign. In Jesus' mighty name, say amen. And I want you to take a deep breath three times so those devils can get out of you. Those demons blocking money from getting to your hands, they can come out of you right now, okay? And the money now is coming your way, amen, and you're going to see it. Why does it call seven-day money miracle pledge? Because you need to pray this prayer for seven days. That doesn't mean the money is going to come after seven days. The money can show up tomorrow. But you, you still need to do it for seven days. That is your commitment. It's a campaign. It's a seven-day campaign. You can fast forward to the prayer and just listen to the prayer. You don't have to listen to the whole video again. 